Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a soft glam look for you all. Um, thought it'd be nice to just do like a soft dewy eye, um, a little bit more low key, still with the bold brows because I love them. Um, yeah, so sit down, grab some popcorn, grab your makeup, let's do this together and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. <laughs> Not thirsty anymore. Okay, so we're gonna do eyeliner. Just a little bit of liner. Do I want liner? I think just a little bit. Just a little bit, just to finish it off. Like I don't want a crazy wing or anything. Maybe just a little bit of definition under the eyes. I think it just like makes the eye pop a little bit more in my opinion yeah just a little bit more yeah definition of the eye um i like to scrunch my toes when doing my liner just so i don't stuff it and have a shaky hand, which happens quite a bit. Oh, my eyelid is shaky, one of the two. Okay, eyeliner's done. Now we can go in and do the mascara. Now, I, I cannot rave about Essence Cosmetics like enough with their mascaras they're just to die for and their cost like seriously they are so cheap like anywhere from six to nine dollars for a mascara that is so amazing like seriously i have tried so many name brand mascaras and they don't all you know do what they say um, which is like, mm, but still, I love this mascara so much. And as you know, I also like to go in with another one just to like do the finer brush of just so it doesn't look so like clumpy sometimes just like to go in and give them a brush up it will really stand out another essence one as well. So yeah. <laughs> do the other eye. And then we're almost done, ladies and gentlemen. This one was probably a little bit of a longer one. Um, just to get that soft, dewy, glam look. But hopefully you've enjoyed. Hopefully um, you've picked up some tips. If you want me to take like longer and do a more in-depth um, eyeshadow tutorial, pop that down in the comments. Let me know because I can do that. Um, I'll probably have time one day during the week um, in the morning. Um, if we're clo or even if we're open on New Year's, I could probably do it New Year's Day. Sit down and actually do. Ah, I got it all in my fingers. Do like a proper long tutorial just on doing your eyeshadow, um, and I can take you step by step with that. If you like, let me know. 
Like I said, let me know in the comments, otherwise I don't know what you want. I might go over onto my Instagram and do like a poll kind of thing um, to see what everyone kind of wants. And then I will go from there, I think. Figure it out from there, see what you guys actually like. So, um, like I said, in the comments, oh, sorry, in the description box below, there is the details of all my social medias. Um, so my business pages, my personal Instagram page, so you can go give that a follow if you want. Um, my business Instagram and my business Facebook, so go give those a follow, go give, the, go give them a like. And yeah, I will be doing a, probably a poll over on like all of them just to see where people are at and what people like, people don't like. I think I'm going to do a nude lip. And you look this like pretty. Nude lip is a pretty lip. Hmm. Can't talk when I'm doing this really. basic nude lip just to not take away from my look of my eyes. And then we'll do one more set. A little bit of where the mascara is hit, but it comes off, which is really good. You can just go with it in with a Q tip and get it off. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. It's more of a soft glamish look. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you are the first ones to know when I upload these crazy ass videos of me doing my makeup and talking God knows what. Um, have a good week. Um, enjoy the sunshine or the rain, wherever you are. Um, have a good week, stay safe. I love you all, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. Okay, so <laughs> a few people have asked to chuck in like little hair tutorials at the same time that I'm doing my makeup, so figured I would show you how I do like my top knot that I always wear um, in summer, because it's always usually hot. So I'd like to introduce you to my flamingo hair. <laughs> I'm back to being bright. Um, okay, so usually what I do is I pull all my hair up to the very, very top of my head. So you have to, you have to flip upside down, which is why I've like pre-done it. Um, let me just make some room for <laughs> this, so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so you've got your top up. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can, depending on like how thick your hair is, if you've got super thick hair or if you want to make your hair look like way thicker, plait it, just like a really, really loose plait, okay? So, loose plait. Then you get it and you spin it. So depending on how high of a bun you want, it will depend on how high you pin it and you know, where you pin it. So, always chuck. Pin 
in where the hair ends just to hold it and then you just chuck all your pins in where you want your hair to stay so I'm pretty lucky with my hair that it'll pretty much stay wherever I put it um, even though it's like super soft right now because it's like washed washed and pretty um, so it'll pretty much stay wherever I put it. Um, all you do is just chuck your clips in to make sure it's going to hold, basically. <laughs> okay. Okay, see? Alright, and done. And then if you are just wanting to make sure it is 100% going to stay, chuck a little bit of hairspray in. I usually do the underneath, so I don't have to clip it at the back. Get on the top, and there, and that is my fancy top knot. <laughs> okay, now that that's over, <laughs> let's get into the makeup of it all. So, I thought we would do a little bit of soft glam today, just because it's Sunday, and Sundays are for soft glam. So. So I thought I would use my Morphe palette. You guys have all seen it. You know how much I love it. It's the 39S. It's full of pretty colors. So, let's prep the eyes as per usual. So, we should probably do a little bit of story time, shouldn't we? <laughs> Um, okay, story time. What should I tell you guys about? What's been going on in my world? Not a lot. Um, unfortunately, I came down a little sick on Friday. Um, I think I've just basically been overdoing it too much and my body is telling me to stop, which sucks. Um, I basically couldn't move off the couch like at all. It was awful. Um, I don't know why, I I actually think it was more heat stroke than anything. Um, and I was just paying for it because I got so hot the day before at work. Like I was sweating, like dripping in sweat. And I think I just got way too hot. So yeah. Um, so yesterday, look at the clean. I did a little bit of washing of all my brushes including these bad boys. They're all washed and they all got to hang up to dry. So I washed all my brushes. So I generally always suggest that you do that once a month as a minimum. Um, look at all the sparkles on my face. <laughs> I think I must have touched the palette. Oh well, I will wipe that off shortly. <laughs> I feel what I've off now. I feel like a goose. Um, so yeah, I was sick on Friday which sucked because I had so many plans. And then yesterday I kind of felt okay. So I just plotted around. I went to the shop, did some Ruby Rib City shopping. Um, quickly ran into, did I go into Big Dog? I don't know. I went into Priceline, got some shampoo and conditioner that I really like. Um, and then, yeah, I came home. Oh, I went to Bunnings. Spoiled myself a little bit. Went to Bunnings. Yeah. So I'm gonna try and go in with a little bit of this color. It's a sparkly cream color. In the inner corners. Oh, okay, it's working. No mind. <laughs> um, I went to Bunnings. Um, bought myself a Christmas present. So I bought two outdoor cane chair things and some cushion covers, um, outdoor cushion covers, and I set that for outside, cleaned up the patio, back patio that took me pretty much all morning, had to like rest in between, um, and then I took myself for a walk in the afternoon, which was nice, half hour walk, just a slow walk, get the body moving. Um, today I feel pretty okay. Which is good. I feel okay. Okay, going to work today. 
thankfully my best friend went to work for me yesterday he is a lifesaver he went in and filled in for me um which was really good um and i know another, another co-worker worked for me as well so they're awesome um they usually only fill in for me when i'm really sick um and that doesn't happen very often um but i do appreciate it when they do do it for me um because yeah i don't take a lot of time off and i've been working six days a week for a couple of months now so yeah okay i'm gonna go in with a Ooh, I'm in two minds of what colour. No, nah, I've chosen this colour. I've chosen it. It's probably too dark, but I've chosen it. <laughs> For the outer corner. Oh, actually, I like it. Oh, it's like a bronze. Ooh. Ooh, I like it a lot. Oh, hello, gorgeous. <laughs> yep, I talked to myself quite a bit. I like it. I actually do like it. It's quite nice. Um... Anyway, um, work today, work, uh, Tuesday, when Monday, work Tuesday. I am really hoping that we're going to be closing New Year's. My fingers are crossed, um, that we are going to be closed because we're down at the end of like this really, really long road and we're down the end when no one else is open. And when I say no one, I mean no one. There is nobody. Yeah. And the only reason we have customers is because, and this is nothing against them, it's tourists and foreigners that will come in because it's New Year's. And a lot of them don't really celebrate New Year's Day. And if they, people do come in, it's because they're half cut and they need something to float in their pool. So yeah, we make a whole of zero dollars. So it's pointless being like open, but you know, I'm not gonna say anything. Anyway, certain people making us open, but anyway, anyway. I'm really hoping we get our exemption and we can shut. That would be wicked. Sponge brush. Just because I need to sponge this a little bit. I'm gonna do that up a little cut my crease line. So yeah, I'm really, 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 really hoping we are closed on New Year's, which means then I would work Thursday and then have Friday off and probably work Saturday, which is okay, that's fine. I'm okay with that. I've had my day off. I've regenerated, as I would call it. I've regenerated. I'm okay, kind of, I think, maybe. I don't know. So yeah. Um, what else? Hmm, don't know. Don't know, don't know, don't know. Christmas was nice. Um, Boxing Day was okay. We managed to finish early, but again, pretty sure I got heat stroke. Um, yeah, got some cool plants, got a cool t-shirt, um, yeah, but it was just, you know, pretty low-key, kind of, like, it's a low-key lifestyle, and that's how I like it. I like low-key. Um, I'm just waiting on a couple more things to come in the post, which never came before Christmas, and then I can celebrate Christmas with my friends. Um, and they're the little ones that aren't so little anymore, which is nuts. They're like nine? Nine? Yeah, nine and like seven? It's insane. Like, it's, it's just insane to think that, like, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're nine and seven. Gosh. It's, it's crazy. Um, I've got the, like, but you just don't know what to get kids that age because, and these kids have so much stuff and I'm like, well, what do I get them? Because, you know, they pretty much have everything. 
lucky little ducks. Um, and I'm like, crap, what do we get them? Um, I actually think I've thought of a pretty cool, um, cool idea. I'm not going to say it because I don't want anyone else to like spoil it. <laughs> not that they would. Um, but I kind of want to give it a, like a mini secret. Um, see how we go. I think I've thought of a pretty cool thing that I can actually get them. So I'm, yeah. But yeah, if you got any ideas for like a nine and a seven year old, hit me up. DM me. Comment below. Let me know. Because I'm also going to need birthday ideas. Very soon to be eight year old. So yeah, hit me up. <laughs> Let me know down below. What do you get, your little ones? What do you get, boys? Apart from things that make fart noises. I don't know. Help me out. <laughs> I'm like drowning here in ideas. In sorry, I'm drowning in not ideas. I should say. Because I have none. Apart from one, but I want to keep that on a secret. So yeah. Um, I have like glitter everywhere. But yeah, so here's my eyes. So it's more of a soft, kind of like soft glam. You'll see once it's finished. Anyway, once we're finished with the rest of the face. Okay, so now we can go in with our concealer and conceal the poor face that is drowning in tiredness. <laughs> oh, goodness. I just. I am so tired all the time, but to be honest, it's been a long couple of months and it's been a long year and to be honest with the year that I've had and the year that our family has had, it's just been like insane and I'm just hoping that, you know, we have a bit better luck this year, next year. 2020 has to bring some good luck, right? You know, like, hmm. my poor mama hurt her foot. We don't know how, we don't know why, but it's like this, it's huge. Her foot is huge. And she had to go to a hospital to get her poor footsies fixed. Um, but it was so bizarre. Like her foot is so swollen, but they can't, because it's so swollen, they can't, you know, when they, sorry dampen my beauty sponge um because her foot's so small and they couldn't get like a proper view of like the bones and all that so it's like there could be like a fracture there or like you know something there that's caused it to do that but she's got crutches and stuff she's supposed to be off it but you know she's a typical mum <laughs> and they're busy doing reno work um they've like redone the bathroom for the house they're moving into um, they're going to pull up the wino. Yeah, very handy humans. <laughs> We're a very hands-on family, I'd like to say. <laughs> yeah. Very hands-on. So that's cool. I might try and give them a hand next week. See if I can help with my handy hands. Not that I can do much. I'm not very... I don't know. I'm, I'm talented and I can do stuff. Like, well, I think I can do stuff. Um... But you know, like, when it comes to like, if I've got something in front of me and it's instructions, yeah, I can do it. But I'm not a very, like, person that can just like do something from scratch. I'm like, no, nah, terrible at it. Terrible. <sighs> Prime the rest of the face. Do not ask me why I forgot about this. I'm terrible sometimes, but that's okay. Can prime. Can prime the rest of the face. <laughs> mm, and I can actually just there we go it's never too late for anything people never too late okay so yeah I am listening to some true crime podcasts on spotify so if you know of any cool like people i should be listening to or anything like that just like comment down below tell me who i should be listening to tell me what i should be listening to or if you, you guys listen to any cool cool podcasts let me know 
you know, I'd love to hear what you guys will listen to. I like that kind of thing. I'm using my foundation exclusively for two seconds. I'm using Morphe. I'm using the Fluidity Full Coverage Foundation because I want full coverage today. Because, um, yeah, I'm a little bit tired. Also, what kind of tutorials do you want me to do with you guys? Do you want um, how to clean your brushes? Different ways to clean your brushes? I can do that. I can do that one. That one's a cool one. Um, would you like more on eyebrows? More on eyeshadows? Different ways to blend eyeshadows? I'm just like bashing the shit out of my face right now. Um, would you like um, different ways to put foundation on? Even though I do quite a lot of different ways. Um, would you like me to just cover, just do strictly one on eyelashes? Like applying eyelashes. Sorry. <laughs> would you like one on? Let me know. Tell me down below. Comment. DM me. Go over to my socials. They're in the comment box below. But yeah, tell me. Let me near. Exciting stuff. Like I had a few people ask me um, to do like hair tutorials as well as my makeup. So that's why I kind of did the messy updo this morning. Messy top knot. I thought, yeah, I'll do that with it. Um, I can do more in-depth ones, I can do curls, I can do different updo styles, um, I'm pretty clever <laughs> when it comes to like styling. My sister Mel, she's actually like, she does pretty cool like hairstyles, she can watch YouTube um, and just like do it, it's insane. So maybe if I can convince her, we will do like a, like a guest thing, Mel can come on and we'll do different stuff. If you like that, comment below. And I'll see what we can figure out. Um, why would you like me to do makeup on? I can do makeup on my mom. I can do makeup on my sisters. Uh, makeup on friends. Would you like to be on my show? Would you like to be on the Stacey show? Would you like me to do your makeup? Would you like to be the guest appearance on my YouTube channel? Comment below and tell me. Yeah. I'm just busy the ass bagging away you looking like a crazy person. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like subjects and stuff to talk about to you guys. Um I've had a few people say um a few things and I'm like, mm, there's like a few things in my life that I may never talk about, but um I'm a pretty open person, so if you want to know anything, hit me up. Let me know and I will talk about it. Uh, I've talked about the different jobs I've had, I'm pretty sure. I should count them one day. Hmm. Anyway. Let me just think some more and then yeah. Nice and foundation. And as you can tell it's very full coverage. This lighting is terrible. It makes my neck look funny. <laughs> Trust me. I think it gets better. It's just the lighting. Like the lighting makes me look funny. Okay, all right, now that I'm happy, okay, I'm happy with my foundation, I'm going to go ahead with a translucent powder today um, and set it. 
but I think I'm gonna have to find it because I moved a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, that's right. Translucent powder. This one's by L'Oreal. Did you match me to Rose Foundation Powder? <laughs> so, yeah. Um. Hmm. I need a little tub to put it in. Bits and powder in there. Say that. This is what it looks like. Now you can see. Oh, there you go. It's just like a white clear powder. Um, which then I wash these. They smell so good. Oh, they smell amazing. They smell like a baby. <laughs> they smell like a baby. They smell really pretty. But yeah. Just go in. Now I always start with my under eye first. Because I want to set that the most. And stop that crinkling effect that you can get with your foundation. And then you just do the rest of the face. Now translucent can be better um, when you, you know, say you want like more of a matte finish or you want the dewy look that your foundation is giving. So this is just a powder, just a, a clear powder just to come basically in and stop it from moving on your face. Basically cakes it in there. Seriously, God, so so good. This is a baby powder. What I actually did use, I'll show you. I actually used the Dove Caring Hand Wash, so because it's got like less stuff in it. Um, and then sometimes, but depending on like my brushes um, and which ones like I use will depend on if I use a conditioner afterwards. So, please get a conditioner. Okay, happy. Okay, I was saying happy, <laughs> but anyway, now we want to do the eyebrows. My hands smell pretty. Because <laughs> everything smells pretty in here. Because it's all clean and washed. So it smells like divine. Like everything smells so good. Anyway. Not that you can smell it. <laughs> um, anyway. Anyway. So I'm just thinking of how I want to do my eyebrows today. Just like brush them up a little bit. So I am gonna do a fuller eyebrow. I did a fluffy eyebrow the other day. Didn't like it. Just I want my eyebrows. <laughs> I like my bold brows. You all know that. You all know I like my bold brows. But anyway. So we shall do bold brows. We shall do what my heart desires. So you can see just like how much I've used this pot of um, brow cream. Yeah. So yeah. As you can tell, I love it. <laughs> okay. Let's go in and do this. I'm trying to think of something to talk about with you guys while I'm doing my brows. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you know what? You know what I could talk about? My cutie nephew. He is three weeks old. I can't believe he is three weeks old. Like, how insane is that? three weeks he's so freaking cute my sister like sends like pictures and like little videos and stuff and i'm like oh, heart explosion he's so freaking cute and you know what like when we got together on christmas and stuff and um 
like they came over and we had all had lunch together and stuff and I was just like watching my sister like be a mum and it was just it was so cute to watch like made me so proud as a sister like I was just like watching her and she was just like in her own element and so was her um partner like even he was just like so chill like I love this I'm a cool bad like I am so proud of them both as parents like they had like the rockiest start to a pregnancy with her my sister being so sick like the poor thing was like so sick like she just had like the shit of stuck pregnancy she was so sick she had silver chain come out and like take care of her and um and all that and then yeah she just like had a rough pregnancy and then like she almost had to go in and have him a couple of times just because like her blood pressure was so high um and then she had to have a cesarean the poor thing because he was breech he was bum first and he came out into the world bum first <laughs> cool story to tell though how did you come into the world mm, but first so yeah um yeah, and of course that was rough as well and because I'm pretty sure she had like some sort of like allergic reaction to like the morphine that they gave her um, so yeah she um, had a bit of a reaction with that um, so and he had to go to like the neonatal care unit um, just because you know when you're born by a cesarean you end up with a little bit of fluid on the lungs and stuff so um, her partner had to go with baby and like you know she yeah she didn't get to hold him properly until like like 8 30 that night for a little bit like one of the nurses from the NICU or from like you know where they the nursery like so lovely brought him up to her so they could have skin to skin contact like it was so nice she was like the loveliest person so yeah, the poor thing. And then like at two o'clock in the morning, they just bring him in. They're like, here you go. And she can't move. Like she can't move. She's got like a catheter in. She's just had a cesarean. She couldn't move. I was just like, what are you doing? You can't just drop a freaking baby off. <laughs> like ladies, hello. She's just had a cesarean. So the poor thing did not sleep for like two days. Two days. And then she was like, no, nah, I want out. <laughs> and you know what? I cannot blame her at all. She's like, no, nah, get me out of here. Bob was fine. Like, Bob was like, fine. Chillest baby you have ever met in your life. Um, he's just like, yep, whatever's good with you is good with me, mama. Chill baby, so chill. Like even now, like, it's just so chill. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Yeah. But she has grown into the most amazing mum. Like, and she's just, when he's, as she puts it, when he's not being a little shit. Um, and like having 70 billion outfit changes in a day. She just like, stares at him, that's so cute. Like um, me and my sister um, like went over and um, bathed him the other night um, and um, so I'm holding him while my sister's like washing him with soap and that and my sister's like geez we never do this with him, we're like in and out and be done. And so like Mel's giving him like a little head massage with his shampoo and like all this stuff and he was just like so chill, he like barely soaked while he was in there. And it's like, if you keep him under the water and just like put a little flannel on him and, and all that. And it was like, it was, it was so cute. Like, it was so cute. And my sister, she's like, I'll, I'll put lotion on him. Because he gets like dry skin and stuff. So they have to put like, um, baby lotion on him. And she like, she like pumps it in her hands and she's like smothering him in it. And I'm like, dude, you could slide that baby down the hallway. Oh, it was so funny, but he would be like the softest little thing in the world. And then of course, 
I was like standing there trying to like keep him calm and that because he, he doesn't like being naked. And he doesn't like having lotion put on him even though it's good for him. Um, and so he's like crying and stuff. Anyway, he grabs a hold of my leg, like with his mouth, grabs a hold of my finger and is like sucking on it. And I'm like, oh, you're hungry. So it's usually like bath time and then feed time and then none last time. So anyway, my sister goes to put his little PJs on and I'm laughing. So usually you lay the little ones out, you put the baby in, you put the clothes on. She's like putting feet first and I'm like, it was really funny. She's like, why are you teasing me? And I'm like, it's funny. I mean, plenty of my kids, plenty of my kids. Ugh. Yeah, I've got my peeps running around. Plenty of my friends have had kids. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've known them from very small ages. Newborns basically, and have helped out many a times with many a children. So, yeah, it's always fun. You know? A baby can sense when something's off. So if you are confident and you know, and you, you're quite nervous and all that kind of stuff, they sense that and they will play off of that and a little like. Nazis. <laughs> they just like they 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 run your whole entire world. So, but they are so worth it. I think children are so worth, worth so worth it. So, but yeah, I could talk about him. Ad. I'm such a proud auntie, and I'm such a proud big sister. Like watching my little sister being ooh, being a mum is just it's so cool. I'm just saying. Okay. She is the best mama. She's the best mama. And my mama is a good mama too. So my mama is being like the best great 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 oh my god, seriously I have speech issues. Best grandmother ever. And yeah. And I like to think that I'm number one auntie. Just saying. I'm going to be it. I'm legit gonna be that drunk auntie at all events, the wino. <laughs> they'll be like, oh, who's this? And he'll be at his like 21st, he'll be like, oh, that's my drunk auntie Stace. I'm that one. <laughs> God, to think like that he is going to be 21 someday. Gosh, that's a scary thought, isn't it? God, does anyone else think that about their like their own kids? Like, holy shit, that's a scary thought. Like, my child is going to someday be 21. What the? Scary. Scary thought. Okay, I passed on. I just went in with a little bit of the foundation that I had left on my little table. My little thingy, plaque, whatever, painter's board. I don't know. And I just went in and sharpened the lines a little bit and made them a little bit smoother. But it really, really bugs me when they're not the same. <laughs> mm, bugs me. This one needs to be that tiny bit higher. I need to fix it there, one of the two. Just like silence while I do this. Sorry, guys. Come here. Kind of. I'm gonna fix the other one. Damn it! Damn it! I think I've almost got it. I think I've almost got it. Do I got it? I don't know. I think so. Actually, I think so. I'm gonna stop there. I'm just gonna stop. And be like, done. Done? I'm done. I'm not gonna touch him anymore. <laughs> it can get so out of hand. But anyway. <clears throat> now that I've successfully chewed your ears off, <laughs> we will do, um, we'll do uh, bronzer and blush. And a little bit of highlighter. I'm actually gonna use 
this brush because it smells so good. I love it when things are washed. I'm actually going in with my darker color today of bronzer. I'm going in with Megastar. I'm going in with more at the top and then less down the bottom. More at the top and less down the bottom. And then just a little bit up in the hairline to shape the face. A little bit on the end of the nose. I always do that. I like, always have, just because I like to. Yeah. Anyway. Just a little bit there and there. And then we need the blushes. So I think I'll use this one today. Get some of all of it. I do want to use a little bit of highlighter, but it's going to be where I place it just to. Everything's messing up. Okay. So it'll be where I place it. That will be, I don't know, the soft, dewy look. So you always want to do just where your bronzer is near the temple. I'm also going to do just in the top part of the nose. That helps with the slimming effect. <sighs> Never used yellow. I wonder what it looks like. Hmm. Not bad. Okay. Cupid's bow. And then we'll go a little bit under the bottom of the lip where the chin is and then whoops I'm gonna go just a little bit here just sweep down we're just gonna try that shadowing effect just to like slim the face a little bit and then of course up in the hairline And then what we're going to do is we are going to go in with a smaller brush and we're just going to underneath the eyebrow here we're just going to add a little bit of highlighter just under the arch of the eyebrow just to really give it like some full definition. today. I mean all my makeup always stays. I'm pretty blessed um, and I'm pretty good at what I do. <laughs> but yeah, I just like really want it to stay. Because I need to just quickly fix that side of my face. Okay. 
just, oops, just to make it match and smooth it out a little bit. So far so good. So next we are gonna do the eyeliner and then we're gonna do the mascara and then maybe a lip and we will be done. But before I do that, I am just going to go and get some water because I'm a little bit thirsty. And then I will come back, finish this off and be done. Back. <laughs> Not thirsty anymore. Okay, so we're gonna do eyeliner. Just a little bit of liner. Do I want liner? I think just a little bit. Just a little bit, just to finish it off. I don't want a crazy wing or anything. Maybe just a little bit of definition under the eyes. Hmm. Like that. I think it just like makes the eye pop a little bit more. In my opinion. Yeah. Just a little bit more, yeah, definition of the eye. Um, I like to scrunch my toes when doing my liner. Just so I don't stuff it and have a shaky hand, which happens quite a bit. Oh, my eyelid is shaky, one of the two. Okay, I understand. Now we can go in and do the mascara. Now, I, I cannot rave about Essence Cosmetics like enough with their mascaras. They're just too die for. And their cost, like seriously, they are so cheap. Like anywhere from six to nine dollars for a mascara that is so amazing. Like seriously. I have tried so many name brand mascaras and they don't all you know do what they say. Um which is like mm, but Still. I love this mascara so much. And as you know, I also like to go in with another one just to like do the finer brush of, just so it doesn't look so like clumpy sometimes. I like to go in and give them a brush up. Make them really stand out. It's another essence for the So yeah. <laughs> Done, ladies and gentlemen. This one was probably a little bit of a longer one, um, just to get that soft, dewy, glam look. But hopefully, you've enjoyed. Hopefully, um, you've picked up some tips. If you want me to take like longer and do a more in-depth um, eyeshadow tutorial pop that down in the comments let me know because I can do that um, I'll probably have time one day during the week um, in the morning um, if we're close or even if we're open on New Year's I could probably do it New Year's Day sit down and actually do ah I got it all in my fingers do like a proper long tutorial just on doing your eyeshadow um, and I can take you step by step with that if you like let me know like I said 
Let me know in the comments, otherwise I don't know what you want. I might go over onto my Instagram and do like a poll kind of thing um, to see what everyone kind of wants. And then I will go from there, I think. Figure it out from there, see what you guys actually like. So, um, like I said, in the comments, oh, sorry, in the description box below, there is the details of all my social medias. Um, so my business pages, my personal Instagram page, so you can go give that a follow if you want. Um, my business Instagram and my business Facebook, so go give those a follow, go give, the, go give them a like. And yeah, I will be doing a, probably a poll over on like all of them just to see where people are at and what people like, people don't like. I think I'm gonna do a nude lip because a nude lip is like pretty. Nude lip is a pretty lip. Hmm. Can't talk when I'm doing this really. And then there's the basic nude lip, just to not take away from my look or my eyes. And then we'll do one more set. Fix a little bit of where the mascara is hit, but it comes off, which is really good. You can just go with it in with a Q-tip and get it off. So that is the look for today. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. It's more of a soft glamish look. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you are the first ones to know when I upload these crazy ass videos of me doing my makeup and talking God knows what. Um, have a good week. Um, enjoy the sunshine or the rain wherever you are um, have a good week stay safe I love you all and I will see you all in the next one bye guys <laughs>